I'm Fred McNeil. Thank you for watching QAC TV7. We're in downtown Centerville, where today we're visiting Trusted Inc. Yep, we're going to get tattooed. And you can do it right here in Centerville. So come on, join us. We're at Trusted Inc. Tattoo Headquarters of Centerville, Maryland. We're at Trusted Inc. Tattoo right in downtown Centerville. I'm with Sabrina. Sabrina, thank you for joining us. Sure. Now, tell us a little bit about it. When do you open? Um, Tuesday through Saturday, 12 to 9. Okay, now, do they make appointment? How, if I say I want a tattoo, what's the process? Um, you can stop in and make an appointment, call us. Um, you can go to our website. Okay, now, how about let's stop? What's the phone number to call? 443-262-8029. Um, okay, and a website? Um, TrustedInkTattoo.com. And does that give us everything we need to know about signing up and uh -huh. making appointments? Now tell yeah, me. Yeah, we have a contact page on there okay. with everything. Great, so. okay, so most of your information is on that website. Yes. And we'll repeat that again. Mm -hmm. help, help the beginners out. If people, I mean, all over the world, right, tattooing is kind of an in thing now, right? Mm -hmm. So where, what was your recommendation? How should people start? I'm saying I want a tattoo. Not exactly sure what I want. How will we start? Well, you want to think about that really hard. Make sure it's something that you want and you're going to like forever. Um, you know, you have to think about your job. If it, Can you have a visible tattoo? Um, and, uh, you know, just lifestyle factors involved. Okay, so um, before you come up here or before they email you or contact you, make sure you want one and you can have it at work. Yep, it's something that you're going to want forever, okay. you know. Um, don't do it on a whim. Okay, all right. Um, really plan it because it's there forever you want to be able to you know enjoy it now Sabrina one of the things people always say to me well are there health issues or health factors what what are, are there concerns there or can you can get um, rid of some of those concerns the concerns are pretty minimal but understandable um of course infection you worry about um that usually has more to do with the aftercare okay. more so than the actual tattooing um has to be cleaned properly you know taken care of um, when we tattoo, everything we use is disposable. Okay. So you're not um, using needles again or anything? They're thrown away? No. Um, some people um, reuse um, the part of the machine that holds the needle. Mm -hmm. um, everything that we use is disposable, so we even throw that away. Right. Okay. So safety-wise um, and health-wise, it's a big help. Yeah. Everything we use is completely disposable. We don't reuse anything. So, so, so the health concerns, if you take care of it after it's put on, you're probably going to be pretty safe. Yep, um, but, you know, go, whatever shop you go to, ask to see um, how they dispose of their equipment, how they set everything up. Um, when they set up, they should be wearing gloves, everything should be, they should change their gloves regularly. Um, not touching other things okay. with their gloves on. Just um, tattooing, that's all they should be doing, right? Yep. Okay. Now, hey, what, are, what is the most popular? Is there a most popular? I mean, in the old, in the old days, I used to see sailors. You'd have mom. Or, is um, there a popular one? Or? Not any particular design. Okay. Um, you know, we really try and talk to people and see what their interests are before we do something. Okay. You know, to make sure it's something that they're going to enjoy forever. You know, um, but there's not one specific style. Everybody comes in with a different idea of yeah. what they want. Mm -hmm. Now, how about age group-wise? What are you seeing? Is it my age, 20s, um, 30s? Who's coming in? We have, uh, I say, 25 to 35 is our main okay. um, age group, but it varies. Okay, so you're so. getting every all age. You're getting mm -hmm. all age. Is there any legal things in terms of age? Can I mean, can a child come over an adult and get it done or um, not? Well, we have guidelines that we follow. It's not necessarily a law. Okay. Um, but we don't tattoo anyone under 16 without parental consent. Okay. Um, and even then, it's at our discretion as far as what they want, the placement, even if the parents are okay with it. If it's something we don't feel is appropriate, you don't do it. then we won't do it. Okay. You know? Now, do you do other things besides tattooing here? Oh, uh, yep. We do um, piercings. We sell um, jewelry. Um, all of our jewelry is um, it's all implant grade um, steel and titanium. Okay. Um, and. Um, we have a little bit of gold, um, you know, and we do a lot of custom stuff. We can order And this is for the anything. piercings we're talking mm -hmm. about. You can yep. get it just, okay. Yep. Now, is ta it looks like to me, I'm just from the boardwalk in Ocean <laughs> City two weeks ago, mm -hmm. tattooing is just getting more and more popular. What do you see here in Centerville? Um, yeah, it's been, um, it's been pretty good. You okay. know, we've had a lot of different people come in. Um, people stop by all the time, even just to check it out, you know, to get 
because they've never been sure. in a tattoo shop. So. Now, and just last question. On a normal day, two people, three people, ten people, how many tattoos would you do a day? Um, it varies so okay. much. Okay. Um, we can do one or two, or we can do ten. Oh, so, so it depends on mm -hmm. the flow. More people get tattoos summer, winter, or the season has nothing to do with it? Um, it used to be more in the summer, but it's kind of evening out. Okay. Um, because a lot of people don't like um, because you can't go swimming, um, with a, a fresh, fresh tattoo. tattoo. Okay. Um, so some people don't like that. They'd rather heal them in the winter when they're covered up anyway. All right. You can't have them in the sun, you know. Okay. So there's some like restrictions that, so. based on. So I'm at Trusted Ink Tattoo now. Before we go in and learn more about tattooing, we've got a good friend of us, Pam. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. And Pam, you've got some beautiful tattoos. Tell us a little bit of what you got. Um, this is like a music sleeve. Had a few different people working on it, and I don't know. <laughs> now, Pam, how long, how long did it take to get, and multiple trips to get that done, or how long did it take? Yeah, multiple different sessions. Okay, all right. So. And, and the same thing, so that'd be, what, a couple days, or is that a week, or what? Um, well, we have to let them all heal up. Like, we'll do it. We'll get to a certain point and then stop and then let that heal and then a couple of weeks come back to it and okay i mean they look great they're very attractive now pam let me ask you this if i go home with those on my arm what do you think my wife's gonna say <laughs> you know how to spell <laughs> o-u-t okay they're very attractive on you for me not so good okay <laughs> thank you thanks for spending some time with it sabrina as we're watching this now can you actually take us through the actual process from the beginning to the end of getting tattooed sure um well, the first thing we do is get the design together, whatever you want. Um, sometimes we'll make a stencil, like in the case of this one, we made a, a stencil of the outline and we put it on there. Um, and um, we have to, you know, prep the area, we clean it, shave it. So the arm is actually shaved? And yeah. What's actually put on the arm? Alcohol? Um, we use, it's called green soap okay. um, to clean it. And, um, and then... We'll put a little bit of, you know, Vaseline or that's Andy ointment, whatever. Um, and then she'll start tattooing. Um, what does the person feel? I mean, does it feel like a pencil? Web? What do you actually feel? Yeah, it's when more like a scratch, kind of annoying okay. sunburn. Okay. Um, it's not overly painful. It's more annoying. But the poor guy getting the tattoo, I think we're more annoying in the tattooing <laughs> process, the TV crew. So it just feels like it's a, like a scratch on your yeah, arm, mm -hmm. okay? Now you talked about earlier the aftercare. Mm -hmm. So when they come here and they finish it, okay, their arm's been shaved, they're putting the t tattoo on. What's the important aftercare you're talking about? Um, well, afterwards, um, what we do is when we have them when they get home, wash the tattoo really thoroughly with soap and water, um, um, pat it dry, um, let it air dry for a minute. Um, and then we usually recommend to use Aquaphor um, as the ointment. You just take a little bit and you rub it over the whole tattoo, just real lightly, and it keeps it moist. Um, and you do that for a few days, and then after that, you can just use regular um, lotion to keep it moist. Um, you don't want to let it dry out because then it can scab up, and then the ink will come out with the scab. So that important then... aftercare is real, like mm -hmm. you said, it's real important. Now I want to say the environment's very relaxing. It's almost like being in a dentist's office, <laughs> if that's a good thing. Yeah, I mean, you have definitely. music in the background, comfortable mm -hmm. chair. Except for us talking maniacs, it's very calm and cool and <laughs> yeah, relaxed. Yeah, we want everybody to um, feel comfortable. Okay. Sabrina, one last question as I'm looking at it. Explain to me this uh, rainbow of colors. And all of a sudden, I, first I just picked that up. Is there <laughs> any color? Is there, you know, can you get any color you want? Or what yeah, is it pretty tattoo? much. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep, there's a lot of different colors available. Um, sometimes if we want a little different shade, we can mix them, add a little white to it, you know make a different tone. Now, kind of a technical question. Mm -hmm. What do, where do I put the the colors? I mean, I'm watching uh, this young lady tattoo. Is it, is there like a tube going into it? I mean, how does it get from that bottle to that needle to that arm? Well, we have the ink and we pour it into what's called an ink cap, which is what we have over there. Is this the little black box here? Is that no, the, the, oh no. Little, they look like little pink cups over there. Okay, the actual the cups, are, okay. Mm -hmm. We pour the ink into there. Um, and then the machine has a needle attached to it. And when it runs, um, it's inside of a tube, and it'll suck the ink up into it. And then when she goes to tattoo, and the needle puts it in so the skin. So she just basically puts the needle into like a little cup, draws the ink out, mm -hmm. and then puts it on the arm. Now, yep. last question, I'll leave you alone. The constant wiping off. She, I notice that she's putting mm -hmm. the tattoo on. She's constantly wiping off. Mm -hmm. The purpose of that is? Um, well, right now, um, it's so she can see. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> um, and um, when you're shading, 
um, a lot of times when you're doing color, you have to wipe away the ink because when um, if you go to do another color and there's a different color ink on it, you can wipe it into a lighter color and kind of muddy okay. up the ink a little bit. And again, the last one. Normally, a person an hour on the chair at a time, or oh, it there's really no depends. limit. Oh, there's no um, limit. This guy likes to be here five and six. I think he just likes. I think he likes the music. Is what it is, right? <laughs> okay, okay. Well, Sabrina, good. I think that answers most of the technical questions. And again, I'm impressed with the fact that you said it's that post-tattooing care that you're really helping people with. Mm -hmm. Keep it clean and keep it protected. Yep. That's great. Sabrina, you're talking about you do ear piercing here. How about you give us some of the examples of some very neat-looking jewelry you have? Sure. Um, most of the stuff here, these are they're called plugs. They're for your ears, like I have. Um, they come in various materials. A lot of these are glass. Um... We also have titanium, and um, with the titanium is cool because you can, we do what's called anodizing them. We can change the color of the metal. Like these started hey, out silver. How do you change silver. color of the metal? We have a, a machine that's called an anodizer. Okay. And um, it's done through electricity. So someone say, I want that to be red. Or no? no <laughs> Red's no. actually one of the only colors okay, we can my do. Good. Yellow. <laughs> can do yeah, yet? we can okay. make them look gold. Okay. Um, like these are green. Right. Um, all we do is we put them in a in a solution. It's um, and then we sim to simply say it, we electrify it. Okay. <laughs> at a at a color. various voltage for a different color, um, and um, anything titanium we can do that with. Um, and um, like that's another example where we. It was originally silver, and then we you made it purple. You just changed the color. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you have yep. a nice selection of stuff. You have little bees, it looks mm -hmm. like, or some, all types of good yep, stuff. Yep, little glass bees, and, um, you know, like these are anodized um, titanium plugs um, with gemstones in them. And um, all of our jewelry, it has a lifetime guarantee. It's never going to break or fall mm -hmm. apart. Or if it does, we replace it for free. And Sabrina, I'm going to hey, uh, I thought we, while we were here filming, I thought you did a very impressive thing. A parent came in with a 14-year-old, mm -hmm. and you basically told him, no, we don't do it to your 16. Yes. So if I'm a parent, I'm going, they're not going to sneak <laughs> in there and get it done. They right. have to have the parent. They have to have ID. And you do have an age limit, which is your shop sticking to that age limit. Yes. Right? Okay. Um, everybody has to have an ID. The, the parent and the underage, the minor, has to as well. Um, it has to be photo ID. We, have, we make copies of everything, so we have you know, documentation of it and who signed the paper. Good. And That's good you do that. It makes a lot of parents take a big yep. sigh of relief, okay? So this is real good stuff. Thank you. So piercing and tattooing right here in Santa Bell. Yep. Okay, thank you. All right, thank you. Sabrina, let's make sure now, let's go over this again. We're at Trusted Ink Tattoo. Give me the phone number again. 443-262-8029. Um, and if they have questions, they, you're free to call you. Yep, anytime. And they can drop in at the shop right here in downtown Centerville. Mm -hmm. And how about your website again? Um, it's TrustedInkTattoo.com. And we also have a Facebook, Instagram. Okay, and just go to Trusted Ink and it all is going to pop up. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, Sabrina, thank you. This has been great, all right? You have a yep. lovely shot. And by the way, thank ter you. terrific music in the background. Thank you. Thank you.